it's just a canter. end of 2008. So, a good half three parts. Uh, <laughs> but only the same pace as you saw last time. I think we all know that. I mean, she she did run badly on on soft ground, didn't yeah, she? So we wait and see. And I suppose you could argue she's not great enough for. Yeah. 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 Oh, but she looks really well. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi, Derek. How are you? Hi, Joe. What you doing? You seem sharp enough. Yeah. Just had to take quick. Yeah. Do you feel strong, Joe? A little bit, yeah, he's not bad. Like the first half I thought he was a bit sloppy to get into Bridal and then when I got him he was he was gone then, you know. Yeah. He seems to have plenty of speed, you know, and I got him after going a half but I thought he was showing no speed then. Yeah. She felt oh, sharp oh, no. But you are you are, you're basically happy. happy enough, like yeah. did three yeah. and three and yeah, half, yeah, but yeah. like that's happy enough. Yeah. But he jumped off a pod not much speed and then then he seemed to get a hang but he first gallop so they're probably the only thing that you could call trial gallops that we do because later in the year once once we've started running the horses we don't we work them together fit we don't gallop them to find out how good they are but with the two-year-olds early on this group business the group ones work with other group ones the group twos work with other group twos First of all, as you say, we know her really well. She's had a nice winter, she's had an easy time of it, and that's her first piece of work this morning. It's only over three furlongs, so it's very easy for her, and everything seems to go very well, so I'm really happy with her. Um, the two year old is a, that's her first piece of fast work with any two year old uh, this year, and clearly, as everybody could see for themselves, he went extremely well. It's impossible for us to say what he's beating, you know, neither of them have ever worked before. Um, the filly he was with has always been also been pushed forward because we thought she was a mature one and likely to be early. Um, all I can say is, you know, it's, it's the first piece of work, but everything we've asked of him, as you saw, he's done brilliantly. I was delighted with it. I, I was, to be honest, very pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect to see the long stride in him, him stretching away from the other horse like that. So it was great. Couldn't it be better. And uh, you know, over the next month, what how how would you envisage? Let's say everything went well. How would you envisage um, it progressing? Um, well, it could happen very quickly. You know, this time of year, um, I often say the you know, two-year-olds can you know, maybe only two pieces of fast work away from a race. It, so it can all come very very quickly. He's already done stalls work. Um, so you know, he'll have another piece of work if he was to do something impressive like that again um, with another horse which but by next time we'll, we'll have worked another one and he'll work with another horse that's got the same experience as him and if he was to do something impressive like that again we would be thinking very early in the season we'd be thinking right at the start. 
So there's every chance that, you know, if, if anybody wanted to get involved, they'd be buying into a horse that with, with the necessary luck you have, he, he'd yeah. be running fairly yeah. soon. Barring any setbacks, and we all know those can happen at any time, but barring any setbacks, I would expect this horse to run before the end of April at the outside. And finally, with regard to syndicates, I mean, you, I suppose, these days, principally known as, you know, trained at some of the biggest owners in the world, uh, with many many horses but you do have syndicates as well and you, you seem to enjoy that side of it as much as as, as the other yeah, yeah, we've always had syndicates and partnerships and um, now we have some very big ones and um, I, I enjoy these sort of days when people come and the enthusiasm of people who want to, to, to get in with a small part of a horse and um, it's great to see. So there's room for one or two more at the moment, it's fingers crossed, all signals are good. Yeah, absolutely. Well we've had a really interesting morning uh, with Mark on the gallops, it's a culmination pretty much uh, Colin, of a year's involvement within a circle, your first racing experience. Genuinely, what what are your what are the pros and cons for you? Yeah, Jim, it's been fantastic, hasn't it? I mean, we've had uh, a number of race days. You get to come down on the gallops and, and check how the horses are doing, and I think the social aspect's fantastic. It's probably the only chance, really, becoming part of a syndicate. Uh, it's probably the only chance you get to to actually experience horse ownership. And has it made you more interested in racing? Definitely. When you look at it, it's quite technical, something I didn't realise before. Um, so to see that, uh, you know, your regular reports and see how the horses are doing and where they're being pitched into race, it's really interesting. There's a lot more to it, really, uh, than meets the eye. And, and Phil, you know, you come at this from a completely different perspective. You've had your own horses with your wife, Carol, for years and years. And to be honest, because of that, I, although I've known you a long time, I was a little bit surprised when you chose to join a syndicate, you know, not just with the likes of me, with people you didn't know. Uh, what, what I think, your Jim, experience? I think your expression was, well, I'll go at the foot of our stairs <laughs> when we said that we would like to be in. About 20 years, not, not as old as I look, that we've been, had horses of our own. And you're right, um, we never thought we were syndicate sort of people. I, I couldn't be with one of these syndicates with 20,000 people in there. And, um, you know, it's nice to have your, your hands on, but what we've enjoyed from the racing side, not the social side, from the racing side, when you've got your own horse or horses, you've got all the owners on that horse, you have all the worries of him, you've got to try and make sure you get him in the right races, and and you come into a syndicate with other guys, you know, nice fellas who I've not met, like my friend here, and all of a sudden it's a shared sort of thing. It's a very, very different set of circumstances. I mean we had 15 runs last year I think didn't we? Three wins? That's not a bad sort of percentage and yet when they when any of them won you felt like personally it was your win but when the ones lost you didn't, I didn't go home in a grump. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. felt like all the good bits were personal and the bad bits you, well, you shared it with your mate. <laughs> and it's a very different feeling. I mean, well, Jim, we're into the new one. I mean, we were going to join the new one anyway, and so, you know, we're into that one. So that tells you what a good year we had in terms of the racing. And the social side was just fantastic. I mean, how many, how many race days? 15 race days. We had lunches at lovely restaurants. We had golf days. We, had, we were lucky enough to win a, a syndicate trip to Ireland. Had a fantastic weekend over there. Yeah, we like it. Keep at it. Yeah. Good. And, and is, there a, is there anything you would change? The naming of the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.